What's up guys? So uh, today we're going to be using some old gear, some new gear. First real quick, we're going to sanitize the platform with some cello. Um, fun fact, this stuff smells nothing like cello. Nothing like cello. And I didn't realize that until I got it last night. <laughs> so um, if you guys are interested in, you love cello, I know they have a strong following, and you want the, the scent to match, don't get the splash. It's it doesn't match. It smells completely different. It smells like cologne and soapy. Um, yeah, it just doesn't match at all. So yeah, we sanitized the platform. Uh, we got a new brush in vintage. Uh, this is restored by J.R. Reyes. This is a vintage brush. It was like cloudy, did not look like crap. <clears throat> he did a fantastic job. Like, look at this. You can see how clear it is. I put an SHD Maggards, 24 mil in here. I had him put that, um, feels great. It did, was scratchy last night. Threw some conditioner in it for eight hours. Feels great now. See if that holds up, but um, I'm loving it. Thanks, JR. Uh, this got lost in transit <laughs> like four months ago. Miracles happened, don't ask how or why, but the stars aligned. He was able to get it back and uh, he was able to restore it for me. So thanks again. Shout out to J.R. Reyes at Reyes Restorations. I will drop his link in the description below. So for the razor, we're using a WEC style razor. Fun fact, this is actually my first ever razor. <clears throat> I got this when I was maybe like 15, 16 years old. Uh, I did get cartridges before this. So it's not my first first. That was like my first, but um, this is like my first thing, first shavette, you could call it, um, hair shaper, and I haven't used it in many years, so no idea how this could go down, but we'll use it, see how it goes. For the soap, or shaving cream rather, we're going with Amaretto from Moon Soaps. This is like cello on steroids, absolutely love this stuff. Uh, for the pre-shave, might as well, we'll use some Chatel and Lux. Pre-shave, just gonna rub that on, and then we'll get right into it. The thing I like about shaving creams is they lather super easy. Um, some of them though, they're very airy, they're not that dense. They just get like really fluffy and they get dry, but uh, not with this stuff. This is like similar to the shave soap that they make. <clears throat> and um, I was very impressed with it, so there's that. Let me uh, rub in this pre-shave real quick. So this is my second time using this, and I found that I like the grooming department pre-shave more so far, so. For those who are wondering. All right, so um, I don't know if I found, hold on guys. Um, I don't know if I found an efficient way to scoop the soap out of this. I don't know, I have like the scooper thing. I'm just gonna scope, wipe some on here. See what happens. Should be plenty, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is funny. Fix the camera. There we go. Yeah, this is plenty, guys. Should be plenty. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, I actually, I forgot to wet the brush. Right. Yeah, after adding the conditioner, I'm getting like zero scratch right now. Um, feels very comfortable. Thanks, JR. Did a good job. Backbone is perfect. Just the way I like it. Doesn't splay too much. Very good job. I'm getting some tingling. <laughs> Ironic, ironically, I got some tingling last night. I think it has to do with throwing on the splash. I don't know, because the last time I used Amaretto, didn't have that problem. Or maybe it was the pre-shave. Hmm. I don't know. 
Sorry about that. Um, Camophil. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting some light tingling. Actually, it went away. Never mind. It's like initial weird feeling there. I'm just gonna dial this in. That's what I love about creams, dude. They're like ready to go right out the gate. So, yeah. I love me some moon soaps. Good stuff. Great value. They typically include like six ounces for like 20 bucks. Very, very competitive. So I don't know if I'm gonna hold this like a regular straight because the handle is like like a pencil, pencil thin, but yeah, we'll see. Ironic. I was gonna use my very first shaving brush too, but it would be such a shitty lathering experience. <laughs> Might have to save that for another video. I just didn't want to use it today. I wanted to use uh, what JR got, uh, gave me. So, so far so good. Pretty good efficiency on this Wick style hair shaper. Man, why can't the straight razor I have cut like this? Cuts with no issues so far. Working on the day's growth. Yeah, this feels amazing so far. <laughs> We're doing as DK likes to call, letting the razor, the weight of the razor, <laughs> do all the work. I thought that video was hilarious. <laughs> he just kept talking about how the razor, <laughs> the weight of the razor does all the work, but he obviously he was being sarcastic. He was saying that we're still doing the work and technique and, you know, plays into all that. Hmm. Almost done with this first pass halfway. I did keep the Razor Rock Game Changer on standby in case I need help getting to DBS. So far, so good, guys. I'm enjoying the shave. I'm um, just going to re-lather up a little bit here. Nice. What are we at? What do I do? Left side, <laughs> left hand. This is harder than it looks. Sorry if I'm not talking. Nice. Man, what would I do without this? Like, um, like off camera, I'm not, I'm not showing you, but I'm constantly using alum. Um, any alum, just phenomenal for grip. I love alum for that reason. I don't really like applying it to the face. I find it drawing. In terms of grip, it's a must. It's just awesome. I don't know if you consider this a weck or a hair shape or a what. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just call it a weck because it looks like one. I don't know. But I, what I do know, this is the very first straight. So it kind of brings me back down memory lane. You guys don't want to see my first brush. It's horrible. <laughs> don't ask me why I still have it either. A 
I want to try the ear technique. I know Marion, when he shaves it across the grain, I see him pull his earlobe and he's just like, I'm like, yo, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Marion the Barbarian. Nice. First pass, done. No cuts, sweepers, creepers, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's see. Yeah, his brush is nice. Um, it, I'll tell you what it feels like. Um, it just feels like a your standard non-treated two-band badger. And badgers are kind of known for having good backbone. Well, two bands, like finest, having good backbone. Um, not super soft, like silver tips. And silver tips are considered to have, like, very little backbone. But this one's fine. It's got, it's a super high density, but once you use some of those uh, Hardison hand tied brushes, this becomes like a regular <laughs> density. It's all relative. Anyways. Um, or like that silver tip uh, high mountain I used yesterday. That thing is crazy dense. Uh, that's the exception. So we'll go against the green. Ken was right. This is like straight mows down the growth, like mowing it down. Beast. Nice. I'm actually gonna go again. Different direction. Feeling confident. Kind of more diagonal. Ooh, that hurt a little bit. Getting a little cocky. Right, let me finish the face. I do oh, got a little cut here. All good, fellas. Doing it wrong. Let's see. Gotta practice the form, right? All right, this is getting. This is a wider blade. Ooh, I did get a nasty. I got a nasty. All right, carrying on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go against the grain. It's just the angle with my beard. Not gonna work out, fellas. I don't want to push it too much. Damn. How does that happen? Damn, someone give me a styptic, ten styptic pencil, man. Styptic pencil. Jesus, I can't talk. All right. <laughs> Right, let's keep it going. Nice. Against the green. Oh, just almost cut my hand just now. Hey, Doug Bear, does this count? <laughs> does this count as using a straight razor, Doug? <laughs> it does not. 
This is too easy, man. Screen one more time on this side. All right, guys, that cut is really pissing me off. I got really cocky and I forgot how wide the blade is, and that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, you rinse off and uh, actually let's just get rid of this damn cut. Throw some thayers on there, shit. Get some thayers. This is not waterproof. Great. Ruin the label. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, actually, you might as well shape up with it, right? Nice. We are cutting. Where's my freaking Alan? All right, here we go. There he goes. I'm sorry, I just can't keep talking during these shades where I'm just like using gear I haven't used in like 10 years. It's more been like maybe seven years for me since I used this. Yeah. Kind of went on DEs after this. And use those half double edged blades if I ever had to shape myself up. But yeah. Solid. So, what I'm going to do, guys, we are going to clean up with the game changer Kai Alpha Handle Game Changer 0.84. Oh man, it's been so long since I used this. Butter. That's what comes to my mind. Butter smooth. Straight butter, dude. Extra cream. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> the game changer is straight butter with extra cream. That's what it is. If you could kind of figure out what I'm trying to say, then awesome. <laughs> Sorry about that, my family battery's gonna die soon. Is it really a shave if you haven't gotten BBS, guys? Is it really a shave? I don't know. I'm gonna let you answer that. All right, we're good. Kind of sloppy. Shave all over the place with a nasty nick. But no irritation really, other than here, where I was going the second time like an idiot in a weird angle. But other than that, we're good. Just gonna rinse off. Solid shave, guys. So the WEC is no match for me. Got too much history with that razor. She hasn't let me down yet. We're gonna go back to the witch hazel. We're gonna go back to the cella that smells like kind of weird. I don't know. Um, hold on, let me get my amaretto. Uh, Bob, where is that? Oh yeah, love this.
this stuff. We're going three pumps with this. Fuck it. I'm going four. <laughs> Is that menthol in it? I don't even know. Alright guys, we're at 20 minutes. Finally we're done. So shout out to JR again for this vintage Ever Ready 300, I'm just reading, 300 uh, brush. Did a great job dude. I'm going to keep it for a very long time. Amaretto and the Ghetto Cello Splash because it doesn't even smell like cello. <laughs> and I did finish up with the Razor Rock Game Changer. Um, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.